Yeah, well, speaking of Christina Davis, uh, like I mentioned, my son plays basketball, and, and they had a, and so he, he, he's one of the captains, if not the captain of the JV team, and he, he's on the varsity team as well as a sophomore. And so I'm a pretty active dad, uh, which is how she thought to call me, knew to call me, because she, she knows me through his ba my basketball involvement through my son. She says to me, oh, and in fact, I'm one of the people who is the ringleaders of this whole teacher opposition that uh, is present against the principal now. And I'm thinking to myself, how bold and, and audacious are you to just say that to me? Like, why, why, why would you think that that's a good thing? And, I, and, I, and again, I'm attempting to be as gracious and as diplomatic as I possibly can to him. And, and I end up ending out the meeting just to make an, a suggestion to her, to recommendation, say, hey, look, I believe, I know you're committed to getting the principal out of his position, but what I would suggest to you is that you attempt to work with him because he's going to be the principal for as long as, even if he's the principal for another day. That's a whole other day that he gets to be with our children, he gets to be with you. So my, my request of you is that you work with him. And if there are a list of issues that you have with him and that other teachers have with him, make a list of those issues and go to him and say, hey, look, here are the issues. We're your partners. We may think or feel however we do, but we're here to have these issues be resolved despite whatever our thoughts or feelings are. And she, the, after the season was over, there was a, a, the, some of the parents wanted to put on a banquet to celebrate the basketball players for having such a successful season. And the woman who was leading this, coordinating this effort, uh, she comes to me and she says, well, you know, I'm, I'm attempting to put this banquet on and I'm attempting to work with Ms. Davis, but I'm not sure why I'm getting all of the pushback and the resistance I am to wanting to have it where I want to have it and having the parents be involved. And she told me that we couldn't raise money from the parents. And I was like, well, none of that sounds right. So I ended up going to Principal Muhammad and asking him, were any of these things that she was saying true or accurate about we couldn't raise money for the event, we couldn't have it off-site? And he says, well, no, that's not true at all. And the more I started to talk to the person who was uh, coordinating this event, the more I started to see that this woman, uh, Miss Davis, was uh, two things. Just based on some of the things she was saying, uh, not attempting, and, and this, this dovetails back into something that she said uh, during our meeting. And it was something to the effect of that it's very hard to even do the things that we would have been doing before because we don't want this principle to have uh, anything that he can point to and say, I did that. And she didn't say it exactly this way. That, the last part was the way she actually said it. We don't, we, it's hard for us to do any of the things that we were doing before because we don't want this principle to be able to point to our efforts and say, oh, I did that. Which for me is to say, you don't want this principle to have any wins during his administration. And a lot of the resistance that this woman with uh, this other basketball mom was, was saying reminded me of what she had said some months prior. Like, oh, it seems to me she's, she's trying to intentionally squelch any possibility of, of a win. Like the, the basketball team had a winning season. They were in the highest, most competitive conference in the CPL. And they had just been vaulted up to that from their performance last year. And there, was, there were projections that this team would go zero and 10. They had no right to be in the Red South. And that they were gonna get smacked by the Simeons and the Kenwoods and the Whitney Youngs and they held their own and they were tied, they had a three-way tie for fourth place, completely solidified their position, kicked absolute butt, and this mom wanted to have a completely parent-funded event. And she said she did everything she could to resist the thing. And uh, even when I, I noticed, I said, you know what, I have a relationship with Ms. Davis, and let me interject there. I send Ms. Davis a text message say, hey, can we talk? Uh, about this banquet and, and, and some of the things that I think could be helpful in terms of making it happen. And so she tells me she couldn't talk because she was out sick, never calls me back, but then the other mom tells me, tells me that she sends her a text message to say, hey, why does Mr. Kamal want to talk to me? We don't have any business together. I'm interacting with you. I'm doing this for you. I don't need to talk to him. And so what that said to me and, and, and signaled to me was that, oh wow, even me as a parent, I'm not immune from being caught up in the politics of, of, of school business and whatever her thoughts are for me and my, my support of the principal will mean that she will actively tear apart 
the possibility of honoring uh, the basketball players for the sake of her own agenda for having this principal be uh, not credited for the support that he's given. So that, that was the, the other thing that, that I experienced that I was in the midst of that, that really uh, shook me when, when, uh, when, I, when I really got to see what was going on. When you, when you look at that in totality and you have someone who's so set on her own agenda or his own agenda to oust a principal such that you would rail against an event that's designed to honor our athletes, our student athletes, without any awareness or wherewithal or care or concern for that the ones who really suffer are the boys, are the, the, the students. And you really think that by virtue of trying to further your own personal agenda that you're not hurting them, that you're not damaging them, uh, is just beyond anything that I can, I can comprehend. And it's, it's, it, I just shudder to think that, that, that this is somebody who has a real responsibility and real uh, um, uh, accountability towards our students and just, I mean, is beyond not honoring it, not fulfilling on it. It's damaging to the boys.